I'll just say the prevalence of EHS has been exploding. And uh, I'm going to share to a study in uh, 2006. In fact, in fact, it was you know a, an editorial from two researchers, Halberg and Oberfeld in Sweden, and they said by 2017 we f we predict that 50 percent of the population would already be suffering from electrosensitivity. D did that come true? I don't know. We don't even have the 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 updated numbers. There's not one large survey that has been done in the last five to seven years about the prevalence of EHS. But what we had so far is that it was steadily increasing. Recently, one of the top groups to study uh, uh, that are full of independent EMF scientists said, electromagnetic hypersensitivity EHS is a humanitarian crisis that requires an urgent response. So of course, it's been urgent for decades at this point, but now it's really coming to a tipping point, which is probably why many people are joining this EMF circle realizing, my God, this is a big problem, right? So the, the prevalence is exploding. And then I also have the report from many people who treat patients that are in the trenches, so to speak, and see these patients come in with electrosensitivity sensitivity, they tell me, Nick, it's been increasing. And some of them have, have been treating patients since the 80s. They say, you know, in the 80s, it was almost non-existent. In the 90s, we started seeing some people that are just affected by computer work, for example. Then we saw in the early 2000s, increasing, increasing. And especially the last decade with the advent of 4G and then 5G, some people are just over the edge and we have of course the advent of the smartphones and the internet of things and everything else some people are just feeling it hey this is nick the emf guy piano i am the co-creator of the emf circle along with my colleague brian hoyer from shielded healing what you saw today this short video is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our circle members every month we have a master class like one of these or a q a session with me and brian most of the time so you get personal support and attention on your emf reduction Reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is, pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars Masterclass class. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.